everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how to build a Roman arch bridge. This is simple and easy to follow so before we start please subscribe as it helps my channel out a lot. So let's get right into the build. Okay so the building materials you will need is mossy stone bricks, mossy stone brick slab, stone bricks, stone brick stairs and stone brick slab as well as a lantern. Okay, so we're going to start off with the first step, and that is making the arches. So what we'll need is stone bricks, so we'll count from here to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we'll place our stone brick here, and then our stone brick here. And then we'll grab our stone brick stairs, and then we'll place them like this on each side. Then we will place upside down stairs on each side as well. Then we'll grab our mossy stone brick slab and just place two on top and then up and then across and then up like this. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side so we'll place one like this. Count one, two, three, four, five and then place one like this. And you should leave a four gap here. And then we're going to do this on the other side like a mirror, so we're going to count from the cobblestone area. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 6. And then we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then place one here. And then we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4 apart and then we're going to place 1 here and then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 6 like this. And then we're just going to do the same arches like this. is seven across and then for the width is seven across as well and they're all seven but in the middle it's four so it's four for the little stairway here okay so now I'm going to show you the next step which is the stairs and the pillars so let's go darling Okay, so now we're going to move on to the stairs which will bring the whole bridge together. Okay, so you need to grab your stone brick slab and then you just want to do two of those in front and then you want to fill those in like this. And then we're going to do that on the other side.
Okay, so now we're going to do a layer on top like this. And then we're going to do another layer like this from the top of stairs here. And then we're just going to keep going up. So we're now at the middle of the arches here on this side and then we're just going to repeat the same steps on the other side. Okay, so now we have both of the stairs done and now we can finish it off by just going across. Okay, so now we need to make it so that, that there is like a kind of like a little barrier walking across the bridge. So now we need to grab our mossy stone bricks and then we're just going to go from here and we're going to go stone brick stairs here and then we're going to grab our mossy stone bricks and just go across like this. Then our stone brick stairs then do the same on the other side now we have this cool barrier we need to grab our mossy stone brick slab and we're just going to place it like this on each side Now I'm going to grab my stone bricks and we're just going to place two here and then we're going to place a mossy stone brick slab like that where the stairs are and then we're just going to do the same on the other side. And there we go, our bridge is basically complete. Now you need to just decorate it, make it look pretty, and whatever you want to do with it. And I'm just gonna add water, some trees and flowers. So while I am decorating, I'll be telling you some fun facts about Roman bridges. The Romans designed their bridges by using arches using concrete. They were able to push together the bricks which created tension and pushed the weight out. So if a large gladiator walks over this bridge, the weight of the gladiator goes to the supports then pushes down to the ground. Without the arch, the bridge would collapse and the gladiator would fall into the water. Originally, Romans used to build aqueducts. The purpose of the aqueduct would be to carry the water to the mountain to the village. So the aqueducts also have arches. The arch would support the weight of the water. Aqueducts were very, very long. The towers in between are where most of the weight was pushed down to the ground. Romans were incredible engineers. They used arches in coliseums, Roman baths, and domes. So as you can see, I'm just adding some pretty lights, lilies, and I'm nearly finished.
Okay everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this little mini build and I think this bridge is so cute and this was really simple to build and I hope it was the same for you and yeah, have a lovely day and I will see you all in the next video. Good.